Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've just got back from my mum's at Sowell Gardens. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 6.42pm. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 9th of May. And Alexa, what's the weather like this evening? Alexa, the weather this evening? This evening, you can expect cloudy skies with temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius. Well, I had a nice and peaceful quiet. I was around my mum from about 11 o'clock to, well, just after 6, quarter past 6, 20 past 6, I've come back in a taxi. Nice driver, we opened the booth and let me put my bags in the back of the car and asked me if I'd like my bags in the back boot. Very nice taxi driver too. Um, so around um, 10 o'clock ish, my mum asked if I wanted to go up there earlier than half past 11, so I said yes. And I went, um, the taxi came fairly quickly. Nice jolly driver, he was really, really jolly. The jolly driver, he kept mimicking Max. Because Max was getting a bit anxious in the car and going, and he meowed like a cat, I think. He was a foreign taxi driver, very bubbly. The only thing I was concerned about, as he was going um, down the, one of the roads towards my mum, he was holding the phone in his hand whilst he was driving and looking at things on his phone. And it only takes a second to be distracted and have a car accident, so I was a bit concerned about that. He was listening to his phone as he was driving the car. He didn't stop, he was actually listening to it while he was driving along the Luton Road. So that was a bit concerning. So I got to my mum's at Dower Garden. My mum came out and paid the taxi driver, which was very kind of her because I didn't have any money uh, to pay the driver with. Um, went into my mum's flat and sat down where my dad used to sit by the French windows. And we, I was very, very tired from the weekend. I'd had a shitty weekend, a really bad shitty weekend. So I wasn't in a very good mood. So it was a bit quiet to start with because I had a really bad weekend but my mum got me out of it and I talked to my mum and we chatted and then uh, my mum ordered me a nice piece of cod and chips from Sandu's Takeaway in Dillingham so me Crystal has had a nice large piece of cod and some chips for dinner some ice cream and I also popped down to the shop with the little bit of money that I had and my mum gave me a couple of pounds which I'm very grateful for um, so I'll show you what I got from the shops and I went down to my mother's the shops, the very nice Carib Afro-Caribbean lady I think it's in it's the Upper Luton Road and there's like a brown little shop, Brown's Mini Market I think it is. And then opposite is the um, other mini market. So um, I got some balloons in the one shop. The nice African lady served me. Hello darling, she said, very polite. And uh, Rihanna was playing on the radio. Beef ravioli, 50 pence, because it's still going out of date. But I don't mind that. Two tins of ravioli. Um, and some Maryland cookies. They reminded me of my sister Amanda because she used to eat these. And that should last me. And I've got some Gillette shaved foam in gel, I mean men and women can use that buzz 
I wasn't in a hurry to look for women, especially. You know. I was not in a hurry to get it. So now I go down to the to, to the little shop uh, down the Upper Luton Road, which is near enough near to the Hen and Chicken pub where my mother Jennifer used to work as a cleaner. So we have a tuna mayo as a sandwich. So I've got plenty of food to last until Thursday. Four pints of milk. I get, I, I'm going through the perimenopause, which leads up to the menopause, and I'm getting very, very hot and red in the face. So I've got some huggies. Huggies to wipe my face to cool me down. And uh, you do. And some drench. And so I, I've got incense and candles, so I got a lighter, a clipper lighter. See, a lighter, clipper. Just a snack on a marshmallow unicorn lollipop. So just a few bits to tune up. I'm on my own, I've got nobody to share anything with, and I've just get fed up and bored stiff sometimes. But not bored, bored stiff, I mean. Most of the time I suffer immense pain. Now, let's get this into perspective. Right, most of the time I suffer pain and I'm not much company anyway. I was a big old grump this morning with my mum because my face hurt. The noise that went on at the weekend, right, hurt my face. It triggered the pain off. And I was a real bad grump around my mum and for about an hour and a half I was just led in the chair trying to shake some of the pain off so that I could at least speak to my mother. Alright, so I went to the shop, got the bit, came back, the takeaway arrived, the Indian Sikh. You know, nice, nice man, my mother paid the takeaway delivery driver and Max ran out the door. So the Indian driver saw me because the dog ran out, I went and brought Max back in, went back and sat down, watched Four in a Bed, the Hotel series, which I absolutely love, with a character called Jenny in there. And everyone was annoyed with Jenny, they didn't like Jenny, and her place was yuck. Jenny. Well, my name's Crystal. My mum's name's Jenny. So it hasn't been a terrible May the night because my mum has helped me at least get a few things. And the sun was out and it was a lovely day. Um, my mum even got me a newspaper and some cat food and dog food. You know, Sue rang the bell and my mum had got me some Caesar and Felix. Well, Sue had got it from Morrison, but my mum asked Sue to get it. So Sue rang the bell. Mum took in the shopping. Because I don't really shop in Morrison's. I like my Sainsbury's delivery lorry every couple of weeks. Um, so, my mum asked me if I would like my dad's phone, so this is one of my father's Eric's phones. Yeah, an Alcatel phone. So my mum has given me this here, it won't display my dad's name because I have reset it. I have taken all dad's numbers, e email addresses off 
if I put my name onto it, I just need to put an EE SIM card in there, because mine is by design at the moment. So I need to get an EE SIM and top it up with some money. Okay. So that is what I'm going to try and do. But I'm not putting my old EE SIM in there on the broken phone. I'll get a new one. So uh, my mum gave me one of my father's phones, that's an Android, an Android phone. Alcatel 1C my dad had. It's an old phone and um, I'm very grateful for that. And what have I come back to? We've got the taxi parked opposite my flat and all the dogs were barking. As I got out the taxi, downstairs dogs were barking. So I went into my communal door, completely happy. I've had a relaxed day and uh, ignore the dog barking. My dog barks when the dog goes or there's a noise, so I can't complain about that. I'm not angry, dogs bark. And so, um, got in, came up in the lift, and I am now going to drink my coffee before I take Max out for a walk. In Rochester. It helps when people are nice to you. The lady in that one shop was very nice to me. She always said hello. I mean, some people don't judge people by looks. And uh, it's a good job they don't. See you later.